In addition to clip art and photos or pictures, you can also insert shapes, smart art, and word art. To insert a shape, you'll click in your document where you want to place the shape. Click Insert, Shapes, and you'll select a shape from the list or the visual diagram of the different shapes. So in this example, I'm going to select an arrow. You notice that your mouse turns to a black crosshair. You click and hold and drag your mouse and when you let go of the mouse click you'll have your arrow. Now the arrow is selected by clicking on the arrow and when you do that you'll notice that you have a formatting uh, tab under the drawing tools and this is where you can change the color of the arrow you can change the uh, weight of the line. You can also use some preset styles here. First you make sure the arrow is selected and then you could scroll down and select from some of their styles. You can size the arrow from this sizing portion of the ribbon here on the format toolbar the same way we did with the clip art by increasing it or decreasing it. And because it's selected, you can click and hold with that arrow and make it bigger, smaller, or twist it to turn it around. Now if you want to delete the shape, you would click on it one time and press delete on your keyboard. There are some interesting shapes that you might find useful in some of your documents. Uh, you'll notice that uh, they have a lot of arrows and a lot of flowchart type things uh, that you might use in some future classes. Uh, just to show you a little different shape, I'll select the sun. Again, I click and hold to draw the sun. And I, again, can fill it with different colors, outline it with different colors, or select a style that is pre-formatted. And again, to delete anything that you've inserted, you would just press delete. Notice on the top of this shape, you also have that rotation, that green circle that you had on some clip art. So you would be able to rotate it. And from the Home tab, you could also center um, a line and so forth your shape. So I click once on that smart shape and press delete to delete it. Again from the insert menu, this time I'd like to show you smart art. So you click insert and then smart art and here we have different graphic options. We have lists, process, cycles, hierarchy and so forth. Uh, the hierarchy is often used to create an organizational chart in a company or a business or maybe a family uh, chart if you're doing some kind of family history. So we'll click one time to select this chart. Now you notice that it came in very large so we would probably want to size it down to work. So from the Smart Tools option here we'll select the Format tab and we'll change the size to make it smaller. Now if you noticed, the text box got smaller because I had the text box only selected. So I probably want to take that back to where it was and this time select the entire smart shape, smart art, by clicking out here on the border and then you could size the entire smart art. You could do the same thing in the corner like we did with the picture and the clip art which is to get that sizing arrow. Now when you select your smart art again you have the option of dif doing different uh, outlines, different colors, and maybe you want to pick a fill color that's a different color. So uh, once you have it selected, you can do any of that formatting. 
again when you select the outside of a smart art you get the whole thing selected if you collect select in here you get this one text box selected and so if I want to delete the entire thing I click there and delete now I'd also like to show you how to insert word art so you click insert word art which is over on the tech text part of the ribbon and and we'll select a different style of word art and I'm going to say this is my word art and again you'll notice that you have the same sizing options you have a rotation option and you have different uh, shape styles that you can apply. You could put a border on it, you could make it have a fill, you can use any of these pre-selected shapes, styles. So just to review, the shapes, word art, and smart art are all done from the insert tab. They have the same features that the clip art or pictures have in that they can be sized, changed in color, changed in location, and uh, they all work to enhance your documents.